Hello, everybody! Welcome to the stream. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome on in, everyone. JJ, thank you so much for the 27 months! Oh my goodness. That sure is a lot of months, isn't it? That is a whole heck of a lot of months. Welcome on in, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you're all having an absolutely lovely time today. Um, and if you're at Gen Con, what you doing here, go have fun. Um, but welcome on in, everybody. Uh, how's your week going? How's your Thursday going? It is lovely to see you. I see the lovely geek outs. Welcome on in. I see JJ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And just here for coffee. I also see Amity O'Cramity. Welcome on in. And also Scribbler and Craft and Littlest Drummer and Ike and Blizzard Star and Spook the Ghostling. Hello! Welcome to Doodle Day, everybody. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> How are y'all doing? What are you guys up to? Ike, I really appreciate all of the little bongo. Little bongo piggies? Yes, little bongo piggies. Those are very cute. Uh, but welcome on in, everybody. Hello! How are y'all doing? Uh, what are y'all up to today? Uh, I've mostly been doing drawing and playing Pokemon Go, so I've been, uh, really, uh, warming up those wrists so that every doodle today will be not a struggle. Hopefully. But we'll see. We've got a whole bunch of doodles to get through. Hopefully we can get through five today. We've got a very large doodle queue, and as this is the, uh, last full week of streaming that I'm going to be doing until the, uh, until mid-September-ish, uh, I wanted to get through as much of the doodle queue for this week as possible. So, that is what we are doing today. We're going to get through all of your guys's, uh, well, hopefully, as many of your guys's doodles as possible. So, if you have, in the last year or so, uh, redeemed a, a quick doodle on this channel and, uh, have never seen it completed, hopefully today and tomorrow I will do so. We will see how fast I can go. It'll be kind of like a challenge. I love the cute fit. The rainbow suspenders. Yes. Uh, I am wearing my pride, my pride outfit today. Uh, you'll be happy to know that I also have pride socks on. Lovely little rainbow socks on today. I've got rainbow suspenders. I've got a little bi boba thing right here. I've got a pride unicorn shirt on. Fully fully as much pride as I can. I don't have any rainbow earrings, so I'm wearing like little origamis. Anyways, I'm feeling, I'm feeling my, uh, gayest today. <laughs> I'm gonna take this, gonna take this as much as I can. OMG bare knees! <gasps> Scandalous. <laughs> it is more than one month. It is more than one month. More than one month. And yay, welcome back to your PC. Well, uh, shall we get started with some quick announcements while people get settled in on their PCs and everything? Um, yes, and as y'all get ready for those doodle polls, there can only be one. All are getting done, hopefully. That is very true. They're all, all are getting done today, hopefully. So please, vote in that doodle poll while I do announcements. <clears throat> First of all, I have a lot to get through, so... First of all, the Crate and Chaos VOD is available on my channel, and uh, if you would like to, uh, it is also available on uh, the lovely Resident Bard's YouTube channel as well. If you were not able to watch uh, me and John and Midge and Leon and Ike play Crate of Chaos, they are, it is all available on my uh, in my VODs right now, and also uh, they are uh, of, it is available on uh, John's YouTube channel as well, uh, as it is John's uh, game that he wrote. So, definitely go and check that out. Um, also, in that same Crate and Chaos vein, there is physical copies being sold at Gen Con right now. So if you are at Gen Con or planning on going to Gen Con, physical copies will be sold at Gen Con of Crate and Chaos right now. And also next week when I'm at Convergence. Also, if you uh, were at one of the giveaway winners uh, for, if you're one of the giveaway winners, for uh, the Creating Chaos Physical Editions and stickers, they are, uh, should all be arriving. I know a few of you have already got yours. I'm looking at you, Amity and Ike. Uh, if you have already got yours, congratulations! And if not, they're on their way, so be on the lookout in the, in the mail for those. Other than that, uh, you heard correctly. I'm going to be at Convergence next week. It is a Twin Cities uh, Geek Con. Uh, where I will be tabling um, and selling my wares, stickers, arts, 
games, comics, you name it. All of those will be available at Convergence. If you're planning on being in the Twin Cities or if you live in the Twin Cities and would like to come and buy some of my art, come to Convergence next weekend. Um, to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I will be there the entire time tabling in the vendor hall. So that's very exciting, which means that I won't be streaming. Um, <laughs> and uh, other than that, some other fun, like just very quick things. I got through most of the announcements rather quickly. <laughs> They're all kind of tied together. Um, but uh, <laughs> other than that, since this is my uh, last full week of streaming, uh, what that means is that uh, this is my last full week of streaming until September, until mid-September, uh, because I have cons to do and weddings to prepare for. Uh, my personal wedding and a friend's wedding that I'm going to be going to, uh, and that'll be all happening uh, mid to mid to early September, like mid August to early September. So uh, I won't have a lot of time offline to do streaming and work stuff. So this will be my last full week of streaming, but that does not mean that I'll be gone for good. I'll be back in mid-September. Uh, if you want to know exactly when I'm going to be streaming next, um, please be in the uh, Brigade Discord so that you can uh, read my weekly announcements every Monday and also on my Twitter to get the most up-to-date information. Um, I will definitely still be streaming our monthly streams, one with Midge uh, for Chicory on this channel, one with John uh, playing Stardew Goblins later on in the month, and me and John will also be celebrating 900 followers sometime this month, probably in the third or fourth week of August, on this channel as well. Because you guys, uh, a whole bunch, like 900 of you have followed me, and I want to do something to celebrate, to say thank you. So, those are the streams that'll be happening, but other than that, I can't make any promises past this week. How, also in that same vein, my commissions close on August 8th, and they'll be reopening again in October. So, if you would like to commission something for me to do in the month or uh, the two months or so from now until October, now is the time to do it. Even if you don't have the funds to do it right now, if you just have like an idea that you might have the funds for in a few months, now is the time to email me or message me about it right now. So go do it. Um, other than that, uh, there, oh, there's probably, uh, generally community day would be happening in the discord this Friday. However, I realized that I'm really, really busy that day <laughs> because of wedding stuff. So I will not be able to host it. So it's not going to be an official community day. However, you guys are, if y'all are available on a uh, Friday to hang out and do things, y'all are of course more than welcome to hang out, play games and do whatever in the discord as you guys generally do anyways. Uh, more of this is me saying that I am not available to host community day until August 19th, which is when the next community day will be happening. But th this Friday, it is up to you to behave yourselves and hang out. So there you go. I will make an announcement in the discord about that. But since I'm on stream, I thought I'd talk about it. Um, and yeah, other than that, go check out Great and Chaos on itch. Get your free copy in the discord or check out the VOD, um, on, uh, in the VODs or on John's YouTube channel. And with that, I take it back to you, everybody. Let's see what you all have voted on. Was that professional? Did I do a good job? Did I get through all of the really, really big announcements? Also, if anyone has any questions about like timing and schedule and stuff like that, please let me know. Words are hard. <laughs> but yes, welcome on in everybody. Thank you for bearing with me through all of those announcements. <sighs> Let's have a drink. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> thank you, Matt, for all of the things. Oh, the girl, glorious pride fit. Thank you for the clip. Looking forward to a tide pole. You know, Craft, um, I'm, I'm sure that is what will happen. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not. S so far, uh, the Bree slash JJ Steve Irwin slash friend, uh, 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 Doodle is winning right now, so... That might, uh, that's, that's looking to pull ahead. The next one is continue Darth John Blin. If you have not voted in the doodle poll, now is the time. 
See which one I work. Behave? <laughs> no, what? Why? I mean, yeah, true. Y'all, why, why would y'all behave? I, I don't know why y'all would behave. JJ's doodle needs to win. I think it has been officially six months since uh, JJ a asked for this doodle. So I think the doodle needs to win. <laughs> Hey, Ike, what's, uh, what you making for dinner? Uh, is it soup? My guess is soup. Oh, also, another announcement. I always forget about it because it's on screen. Uh, if we hit before the end of this week, if we get $300 before the end of this week, I will be working on a goblin coloring page. That will be the first thing I do when we come back to streaming in mid-September. Um, we'll be making a goblin coloring page. And over the month, over the month or so break, uh, of me being off, uh, me being partially offline, um, y'all get to vote on what the contents of the coloring page will be. And I am sure y'all are gonna ask me to, like, make it the most complex fucking coloring page we've ever seen. And you know what? Fair. So, if we hit $300, we're gonna be making a Gabin coloring page, uh, very soon. So... Make sure we hit that goal. Make sure we hit that goal. We are very close. We are like only like sixty dollars away, which is not too bad. That's not too bad. Hey, Orange, welcome on in. How's your Thursday going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My doodle request must age like a fine wine. Except I do not remember what the content of that is supposed to be, other than the fact that me and you are Steve Irwin and also a, f a friend of Steve Irwin's. Other than that, I don't know. Do you remember? Cause I don't. <laughs> Yay. I have never had that or heard of it, but after Google, that sounds good. Ooh, kanji. <gasps> kanji. I have heard of kanji. It was just gonna be a tidal wave of gobbins falling out of the whip folder with sparklers in their hands. <laughs> Honestly, that might be it. That, that y'all are, I, you know, if the fact that I'm gonna make you wait, like, a month for this coloring page, uh, means that, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna draw everyone's individual goblins in this coloring page, and they're just gonna be tumbling- Oh man, that's gonna be complicated, but very fun. That would be very, very fun. <laughs> that does- Oh, kanji sounds incredible, like, it's not soup, but it's close. <laughs> Six months for the win! Ooh, uh, Danny says, I'm like, oh, I just found the two mean things I was getting. I'm gonna, gonna get on my errands. Pokewalk I already had, but I shall still walk because walk is good. Good! Still walk, but walk is good. Walk is good. I've, I've got on two walks already today. Two Pokewalks already. One in the morning and one for lunch, because I went out to get lunch. <laughs> I didn't really catch anything. Oh, I did. I, I used a mossy lure for the very first time today in my pogo in my pogo walk, and I caught a cheruby. And that's I think the coolest thing that I got today. But oh guys, you're gonna fucking kill me. Yesterday I got uh there in the in downtown St. Paul when I, after I got back from after I was like just walking around to like uh chill from therapy and the park by where my therapy is. I've, there was a fucking wild Gyarados. It was not shiny. I wish it was shiny, but there was a wild Gyarados just chilling. And I was like, that is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And I named it Blue Raspberry and it's now my partner. <laughs> Speed run! Craft, did you tie that pole? I was, did you wait until the very last second to tie that pole? Cause I, I'm, 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 yeah, you, you lurk, so you're, you, you don't expect it when craft attacks, but I see you, craft. I notice you. You're here, and I appreciate it. If not for you to be, uh, a little shit. <laughs> I also, re other random thing, I woke up this morning with, like, five bug bites all over my arm. So either a spider bit me a shit ton, or... Uh, a mosquito got in and I it just went to town on my arm. There's like one, two, three, four, five, and there's also one on my knee. I 
would never do such a thing. Honestly. Press X to doubt. I don't believe you. <laughs> Speed round. All right. J uh, JJ and C uh, Steve Irwin and me and JJ are pulling ahead. <laughs> I got a lot. I just, I had a lot of bug bites. They're not very bad. They're just itchy. And I've been trying really hard not to itch them all day. But they're very itchy. <laughs> also, so I don't already have enough projects, I remember I had an old Kenner Millennium Falcon figurine carrying case that I now want to convert into a Star Wars Legion carrying case. That would be so cool, Ike. I'm... Oh, I mean, you do have a lot of projects, but that would be freaking dope. Oh, you should totally do that. You should totally do that. I, I'm, as a serial enabler and your friend, you should totally do that. <laughs> uh... I also procrastinated going on my walks so along uh, that my dad is home and is making dinner, so I guess I'll go on that walk after taco time. <laughs> Hell yeah, taco Thursdays. I'm actually also having tacos for dinner tonight. Oh, we could tie again. Very close. Very, very close. Five to four. <laughs> yes, seriously. Go go get your badass pogo walk, uh, Danny. I am, I am excited, but... You get, make sure to get, make sure to eat dinner f and have fuel before going on your pogo walk. I have gone on a pogo walk before I've had breakfast once and it sucked. Never do that. Never do that. Not unless you're like full of adrenaline. Hey, we didn't tie in the speed run. All right. All right. Time for me and JJ to become Steve Irwin and Steve Irwin's friend. Hey, Amethyst Pokemon in. I'm cursed with another headache. So I'll just be lurking, but I wanted to pop into chat to send my love. Have a good stream. Thank you very much for sending your love. Have a very good lurk, and I'm sorry you're having a headache. Please get better soon. Thank you for lurking. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this doodle is, his friend's name is, like, Greg, I think. We were talking about how the two of us were going to befriend the v very dangerous animals, and in joke, we were Steve Irwin and his best friend. You know what? Yes. I remember this. Brian uh, Darkey as Steve Irwin and, uh, and Wes befriending Australian wildlife. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. I'm down, I'm down for this. Time for me and JJ, JJ to just befriend really dangerous animals. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> the first, the first doodle of the day. 30 minutes in, we are making good time. <laughs> Let me just move that. I also changed my buddy to my po uh, to my Pokey I'm most proud of. My shiny party hat Wurmple. I love them. I, I when I was sending you a gift today, Danny, I saw that you had a tiny uh, a shiny party hat Wurmple, and that's I was going to compliment you on that, and then I went and did other things. But now that I'm here, that is so incredible. Where did you get that? <laughs> That is a very good Pokemon to be proud of. My current one that I'm most proud of is my Gyarados. And luckily I have to, uh, I still have a quest to evolve a Magikarp, so Gyarados is very good as a, as a buddy. Uh, all right, let us do this. Let me get all of our things situated. <laughs> I finally did the thing to catch Smeargle after realizing I never caught it, good. Catch Smear- I- Smeargle is so cute. Is there a thing you have to do in order to- It's a tie. Is there a thing you have to do in order to catch Smeargle? I've caught a few Smeargles, and I didn't know if there- the, I didn't know that there was a prerequisite. I can speak. Alright, uh, where's Snaz? There it is. There's Snaz. Alright. All right, let's do this. Cherubi, thank you. Nice. 
Cherry B is very, very cute. It's just a little cherry, cherry Pokemon. That was, I think, the only Pokemon today that I caught that I didn't have. Gobbos! Oh, Goblity, thank you so much for the five bucks. Gobbos! Ever closer, ever closer to our uh, $300 goal. Thank you very much, Amity. I really appreciate it. All right, 20 minutes, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna make us uh, chibis because that's faster. JJ is a lot. I don't know. How JJ, how tall are you? I have a feeling, I, I have a feeling that you are taller than me. 5'8", yep, you're quite a bit taller than me. Sweet. <laughs> Four inches. No, six inches. <laughs> you have to take a snapshot of your Pokemon and there's a chance it'll make a Smeargle spun. Oh! I did not know that. I did not know that you had to take a snapshot of the Pokemon and that's how the Smeargle spawned. Hmm. I thought it just spawned randomly. No potions to no brain only list merch. All right, what does Steve Irwin and Wes look like? I don't want them to look like just straight up safari people. I want it to be I want it to be authentic. Hold on. Steve Irwin. Steve's friend, Wes. Short, short khaki shorts, high socks, and khaki boots. The shirt, big surprise khaki brown button down short sleeve. <laughs> yes. Steve was messy blonde hair shorts, always shorts, and a huge smile. Well, we can achieve that real easy. It was just, uh, just when there was a party hat Wurmple for Poke uh, Pokemon Day or something, and it was just a completely random natural shiny. Not a special Wurmple Day or Raid or anything. That's why I'm so proud of him. Pure classic natural shiny look on a hat, Pokey. That's, that's very impressive, Danny. You should be proud. <laughs> yeah, you, you take the snapshot, and if you look uh, at the photo, he could uh, be photobombing the picture, and that's how you'll know he'll spawn after you leave the little camera AR thing. Oh! Okay, so he just photobombs the picture and then he spawns? Interesting, okay. I always noticed that he photobombed the picture, but I didn't realize that it was a correlation. <laughs> That's 
cool. All right, JJ, what what do you want your chibi to look like? What what features should be the most prominent? You coming over here to hang out with me on tarot cam? Who would have thought? <laughs> Hi, baby. Well, I will change the camera soon, but I do not, I cannot right now. I have short hair and a little bit shorter than yours. All right. I think we're gonna look very similar, JJ, <laughs> and that's fine. All right, we're gonna have khaki short shorts, very important. Your, wait, your hair is rainbow right now? That's fun. I didn't know that. That's cool. Well, we're definitely, we're, once we're, there's color. Hey, have a good time with tacos, Danny. Get those tacos. You deserve them. My roommates uh, made tater tot hot dish, but instead of tater tots, she used sweet potato fries, and I'm not mad about it. That sounds really good, though, Amity. As much as I love tater tot hot dish as a Minnesotan, honestly, tater tot hot dish, but using uh, but using sweet potato fries instead of tater tots sounds like a, an incredible improvement.
That gives it much more depth of flavor. I mean, I like tater tots, but sweet potato fries are superior. how much smaller I've decided to make myself. <laughs> I'm just a small little zookeeper. scary animal should be behind them that they don't notice. Ash and Emu. Ooh. And before I say Emu aren't scary, there was a whole war about No, no, no. They are scary. I mean, we did say- the doodle did say Australian wildlife. So, you know, I'm down for Emu. I do- I do like panther-sized Ash, but I'm down for Emu. I also feel like that's probably- bird- I might, I might eat my words on this, but I feel like bird might be a little bit easier. Alright. Emu it is. <laughs> they, they got murder in their eyes. They do. They simply do. They are terrifying. Angry dinosaur kin. Oh, thank you for the emo reference. I did look it up, but I'll look at what your reference is. Do 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 do. 
Do, 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 Terrible. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's such a scary face, Matt. Okay. That is such a scary face. Yes, go. Run to the dollar store for some crafting supplies. I, I hope to, you come back and regale us with your crafting, uh, with your crafting, uh, tales, because I cannot wait to hear about this thing, uh, the this Star Wars project you are going to start. Have a good lurk and a good craft run. You deserve it. Have a good dollar store run. Thank you for being here and being hyped about Doodle Day. I appreciate it. This is kind of turning out to look a little bit like a Skeksy, and I'm here for it. We will continue Darth John Blin next. Murder bird. very round. A very round burb. A very round Angie burb. It is, it is apt. Thank you. 
Shh. I haven't finished JJ. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that much done, but there we go. <laughs> Just us doing our best. Definitely gonna get murdered by this emu. <laughs> oh, but I love it. All right. Thank you very much, JJ. I'm glad that we could start your doodle after six months. I cannot wait for us to get murdered by this emu. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, let's save. Um, how do we do that? Right. JJ and Bree as Steve and Wes. Save. There we go. All right. <laughs> Moments before disaster caught on camera. Jumblin Ed Gobcon with a stack of games and two bags. Oh no, John is in the house! John is in the house! You cannot get that past him! Hello! Welcome on in! Hello, hello, hello! How is your uh, con going? How was your Thursday? Welcome on in. Shh, you're not here, you're at con. You can't have you can't know that we are uh talking about you and thinking you're cool shh you're not supposed to know this you're not supposed to know Okay, it's in my head, I have to say it. Brimu. A Brimu! <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saying that. That was, that's very important. And, um, it was very important. It's very, very important. I appreciate it. Thank you for saying it. Uh. <laughs> now I need to see that quick doodle. <laughs> make a note, make a note of all the things you need to see as a quick doodle. <laughs> <sighs> well, all right. Uh, I think, John, you're just, you're here just in time because the next doodle we're going to be doing, uh, is continuing, uh, Darth Johnblin. So, you're here just in time. You're here just in time 
for doodles for uh, your doodle. So I don't know if you are if you are able to hold out this entire time, but if so, I'm I really hope that you are able to stick around because let me open a new file right now. Oh wait, nope. It's not a new file, it's the same file. It's a continue. This one's 30 minutes. Darth John Blin, where are you? Where are you in my saves? Do it me and John fighting. Donde esta? Where is our lightsabers? There's me. It's probably higher. I don't know why I'm squinting, but I feel like it should help. <laughs> there it is. There we are. All right. There it is. Finishing Gen uh Darth John Blin. I can't I can't stay the whole time, but I'll lurk for sure. Yes. Donde esta la gabos? Donde esta? Cabencitos. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let us do this. Gotta get my timer going. Gotta get caught up on chat. Chris, uh, hey, it's good. Christmas set says hi. I just got done hanging with them. Yay! Thank you very much. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for saying hi. Have a great stream, Bree. Much love to y'all. Much love to you, John. Lurk away and have a very good time hanging with people and having a very good Gen Con. Thank you for stopping in for a little bit. Oh, that's what I was doing. Gosh, no brain today. Tarot Cam. Ash is here. <laughs> There we go. <gasps> hey, John. <laughs> All right. Darth John Blin in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> John Blin does not have glasses for some. Why does John Blin not have glasses? Did I just forget to give him glasses? How dare I? That's that's our first order of business. Glasses for the for the boy. He's not John Blin without glasses. All right. Now he has glasses. We can proceed. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Matt. I appreciate it. <sighs> Listen, there's a reason Emo won a war against the Australians. All right, what is this, what is this war that y'all speak of, of Emus versus Australians? Because I, I know the rabbit, I don't know if it's necessarily a war, but kind of a war. What, what is the emu war? I feel like Australians just ra wage a war against their wildlife often, though. So what, what makes it different? What did the emus do? Was a genuine war in history? What? How 
How is that possible? How is that possible? How is it a genuine war in history? needed to look up a quick picture of Darth Maul just to make sure I got the colors right on his clothes. Plus, I, I mean, emus are terrifying, so I'm sure the Australians lost. Okay, uh, the emu war, also known as the Great Emu War, was a nuisance wildlife management military operation. Oh boy. That does not sound like that would end well. Uh, undertaken in Australia over the later part of 1932 to address public concern over the number of emus said to be running amok in the Campion District of Western Australia. Okay. All right. The Australian army tried to exterminate the emus and lost. Are the emus like a invasive species? To address public concern over the number of emus said to be- Okay, so there's just too many emus. And so the military was like, Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna kick some emus ass. I've linked the wiki and links for later. See, don't wait for anyone to images from the start. Thank you, the Australians lost. They just got big claws and beaks and won against guns. Wait, hold on. It wasn't that they just, like, outrun- outran and outlasted them. They, like, withstood guns. God, that's like how certain alligators and hippos in Africa just are like bullet resistant at this point. That's wow. <gasps> Yay! Thank you, JJ. I'm excited to see your rainbow hair. Very excited to see. No, they were endemic to the area, but humans wanted the land. Emus didn't get the memo, didn't care. Uh, okay, so it's a good thing that the emus lost. I mean, it's a good thing that emus won. And the Australians lost. The emus basically said, no, we can't take our land. This is our land. And, um... Sorry. Find another plot of land, buddy. You know what? Good for them. Good for the emus. That's what they deserve. To run and frolic with their terrible dinosaur legs. Alright, let's do some face markings, shall we?
not Darth Maul unless you got all of the all of the Night Sister face markings. Terry Maul needs his goth makeup tattoos. Yes, he does. He's got to be extra goth to show his mother that he knows what he's doing. Sorry, ah, I forgot to tell the look before I went to got uh, went to work on the puzzle I got. <laughs> no worries, Scribs. How you doing? Uh, welcome back in. How was the puzzle? It's all good. It's a sleep. It's it's a sleepy Thursday. Who knows what's going on? I certainly don't. Ooh, you got a lot of progress today. Hell yeah. What puzzle are you working on? But yeah, it was a genuine military campaign to exterminate a bunch of emus and wouldn't be nearly as funny if the army hadn't lost. Yes. <laughs> it is only funny that the because the army lost. Hell yeah. I'm all for military campaigns against animals losing. And the military losing. That's... That's a hero story if I've ever heard one. Alright. We've got one Darth Maul goblin. Now we gotta do his lightsaber and his boots. Man, the Sith must be so warm. Like, they're covered in all black. They must be so warm. They, they go to Tatooine so often in these freaking movies. They gotta be so hot. Still not even halfway though. Special puzzle from Extra Life. Ooh, sweet. That's exciting. Is it like of anything in particular or is it like just a cool uh just a cool puzzle design that uh you got because of Extra Life? Man, imagine getting uh, those big old goblin ears tattooed all black. Yeah, that I was I was looking at that when I was um, doing this, uh, Danny, and I was like, yeah, I. Man, if you had big floppy ears and you're like, all right, time to tattoo them black, the entire all of them black. That sounds terrible. The fact that Darth Maul's ears are black in, like in uh this freaking like makeup like just thinking about just thinking about getting your ears tattooed is no 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 thank you not for me huh <sighs> i get the ebajibis from that no no ebajibis I was 
a, I always thought it was his natural complexion too, but Danny's uh Danny is saying that it is tattoos. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Someone consult the wiki. He is very cute. Oh wait, has it already been 30 minutes or did I do a 20 minute timer? We shall see. I will see what the timer is set on my phone once it goes off. I'll post a link and links for later. <gasps> Yay, thank you Scribs, I would love to see it. black would be tattoos. The black would make more sense. He angy. He from the dark side. Just a goblin from the dark side. here to ruin your day. Like the Jedi get to have like cool colors. And by that I mean like you go out in the sun and that there's a lot of layers but at least it's not black. And the Sith go out and they just melt. I guess it's I guess they're fine because they're cold blooded. notice my joke. Maybe it hasn't gotten there yet. <laughs> I was very proud of it. Very quietly. <laughs> very quietly proud of that joke. <laughs> so from a very cursory Google, it seems like Darth Maul's species, especially his tribe, have stripes that were embellished with further ceremonial tattoos for their tribe. But Maul was stripped of his and so was all red. And then got retattooed as a Sith? How do you get stripped of tattoos? I guess if there's like body modification in world, I guess that's not too crazy, but Jesus. Can you imagine like being kicked out of your like family and be like, all right, time to get laser surgery. Get those tattoos off. Hey! Odds, welcome on in! Hello, hello, hello. No worries. 
if your power blips, that's totally fine, and I hope you are staying safe. But welcome on in. How is your Thursday going? Is it a fun thunderstorm or a scary thunderstorm? Those are the only two kinds. I was honestly surprised when it showed up because I was like, who was sending me stuff from Utah? Then the email showed up in my inventory. Inventory? I mean email. What the fuck? The email inventory. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of an inventory. Email inventory up to 1,000. On red. Wait. 10,000 on red? Mine's not that bad. Mine has a lot of unread, but mine's not that bad. Oof. I think mine's like 2,000 unread? <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. The fact that you didn't comment on it and just clipped it is the only thing. <laughs> I don't know whether to feel proud or sad that you... But you, no one commented on it, and you clipped it. Uh, good thing John's not paying attention or Koala's not here. Uh, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go be ashamed in the background. Uh. <laughs> I'm loving the storm, it's beautiful. Got some cool photos, ooh. I've been trying to do this commission illustration, but I'm dragging my feet a bit. Got to design a detailed nature background, uh, cause that's what they paid for. Yeah, yeah. Understandable. I, whenever there's like, here, have a do a very detailed background or do something really cool with hands. I'm like, yeah, I could totally do that. I'm an artist and I have skills and I can use those skills to make really pretty art. And then sometimes it's like, okay, I know I said I could, but uh, I really want to procrastinate right now because, shh, no, shh, no. It was 20 minutes, extra 10 minutes, let's go. Oh, Matthew says hello, and that he likes the gobbins. Oh, thank you, Matthew! Hello! Mwah. <laughs> How are you doing, my buddy? I don't think I have a ten minute timer. Let me make a ten minute timer. Okay. Ten minute timer. Created. Eh. Start. We're giving this the full 30 minutes that the continue deserves. Did they specify what kind of natural background they wanted or did they just say like, do a natural background? Also, we're getting, we're getting, We're getting lava with it, folks. We're gonna spend this next 10 minutes making a, a chibi lava background. I know technically Obi-Wan fights uh, uh, Anakin in lava, but it's just classic. It's just classic Star Wars. Just classic Star Wars. To have to fight with lava. Oh, this is my request. Lemon did the continue. Well, thank you, Vod Lemon. I I have a pine tree brush. I should make use of that. They want me to come up with some ideas, so I think I'll give them like three options, and once they pick, I'll start the sketching. That's a good idea. That's that's a good idea.
definitely make use of that tri pine tree brush and do a lake. Do Make it as simple but pretty as you can, Odds. That is my recommendation to you. As simple but as serene as you can make it. Hey, Ethcore, welcome on in. Ca can the cats perform a handstand? I... I don't think so. I think they... I don't think that's how their balance works, but... I wouldn't put it past them. To be fair. <laughs> fanfic version. This is the fanfic. This is the Darth Maul versus Obi-Wan fanfic that everyone wanted. Fighting some lava. I could totally see the goblins do doing a cosplay of just the wrong scene in Star Wars and being like, what, this is, is this not how it happened? <laughs> Is this not what, uh, this is not how the scene went? I, I think this is actually, I think this is 100% how it uh, actually went down. Doing a cosplay photo shoot in just the wrong place. Yeah, goblins think Star Wars equals lava. What was that really epic fight? Yeah, it was Darth Maul versus Obi-Wan, right? This could be the original. <laughs> now, and I found a found uh, a box of fidget toys while cleaning my room, and I have a, a lot more pop uh, poppets than I thought. <laughs> How many poppets do you have, Danny? Hmm. How many poppets? No, oh, that's too late. You can't just bring that up and not out yourself. <laughs> no, Obi-Wan fights Anakin in the lava. Why would he, he fight Anakin? Anakin is a Jedi. Exactly! The Goblins have only watched the first two uh, prequel movies and not the last one. That is not their canon. <laughs> Well, we're waiting for the Possum Creek meetup to start. Ooh, heck yeah! What are, what are you gonna do at the Possum Creek meetup, John? If you are still paying attention. And I am glad that Matt is doing good. I hope you guys are having a really good Gen Con. It is very fun to be getting live updates in the middle of my stream. <laughs> me just quickly making some lava this is not the eatable I don't know Hawk is not here I can't I can't discern if this is edible lava or not but you know maybe Complete. 
Time to do a snazzy overlay. Om nom. Om nom 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 nom. look away for 45 seconds and you fully rendered a background. It was- lava's quick! Lava does not take much! Lava's like, here, have some yellow and go. That is true, I have had a lot of lava practice. I have drawn quite a lot of lava in my time. I'm quite versed in the ways of lava. your Thursday going. I had to draw a lot of lava for the board game that I worked on. The lava, there, there was a lot of lava. I got very good at lava by the end of that. Also to answer Brie earlier, I apparently have five puppets. Okay, that's not too many. That's that's a that's a reasonable amount of puppets. Okay. And with that, the goblins have recreated their favorite not real star uh <laughs> have created their favorite not real Star Wars scene. <laughs> Room. <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of just a little bit of a blue glow and a little bit of a red glow. There we go. So many light sources. Yeah. If I was gonna fully render this, this would be a lot. But <laughs> dun 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 da 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 They have done The goblins are doing their best. They are cosplaying and uh not doing quite the right thing. <laughs> As usual. Alright. And save. Look at that. Two doodles down. I told you, I told you I was warming up before the stream. We are gonna get through five doodles today. I believe in us. We're gonna get through five. So, what is my next doodle, everybody? Or should I take a break? We are at about one hour 35. Excuse me, one hour 35. I'm down to do another 20 minutes and then uh, take a break after, cause do three and then come back and do two. All right, gotta zip away, but have a great rest of the stream. Thank you very much for hanging out, John. Have a great rest of your night, my friend. Have a very good time at the Possum Greek uh, Games meetup. <laughs> Have a very, very good time at the Possum Creek Games meetup. Mwah! Bye, John.
Green! You got it. You got it, Catcook. Where is my... Hold on. I gotta find my... Little thingy. Where is my... Hold on. Where'd my little remote go? Ash, where's my little remote? I want this as a print. I could make it a print. I could certainly do that. There it is. Green. Bam. Green. <laughs> it's very, I don't know if you can tell. It's very green in here for me at least. <laughs> me third. I mean, I could, I could fully render this and make this a little print. Make this like part of, part of a goblin. <laughs> Part of a goblin, uh, print pack. Just make prints of a bunch of goblin doodles or something. We could do that. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Matt. Green breaks are good. Okay, we're gonna do one more doodle and then I think we're gonna take a break. And then, uh, you guys can vote on the fourth doodle while I'm on the break. And then we'll come back and get right into the fourth doodle. Ooh, Bree draws what she wants. Summer shush emote. Uh, goblin wedding cake topper and John Blin at Gen Con. Goblin Wedding Cake Topper is winning! Alright, everyone please vote in the poll for what doodle I will work on next while we admire things and I get caught up on chat. This is so good. I'm glad you like it. I'm very, very glad you like it. All right. Um, so many light sources. Lava. Head cannon. Gabri and John Blin hired a goblin photographer. They said use the big fight background, and the photographer guessed. <laughs> use the big fight background. Yes, I love it. I think that is exactly what happened. I think that is 100% what happened, and uh, it's, you know, it's it's very Star Wars-y, though it might not be accurate, but that's okay. <laughs> Every single one of my unread emails is a fanfiction chapter update to remind me to read it uh, that I have not read. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of my unread emails are either, like, spam or, like, updates about things to, that I'm just like, eh, I don't really care enough to read those, but just in case I care, like, just in case I care later, I won't read them, and I'm not gonna delete them, but I, I never do, and I never get back to it. Uh, most of my read emails are ones that are actually important, um, because I need to read them, but <laughs> that's why I have so many. <laughs> but good, not reading them is a good way to remind yourself to read them later. Hopefully. Unless you're like me, and then you uh, leave just notifications on forever, and then you forget about them, because your brain, that's how, that's how ADHD brain goes. I'm not sure how many I have. 46, ooh, 46 unread emails. That's not bad, Scribbler. You're, you are winning in the unread emails uh, uh, race, if there was one. Oh, are you getting up, Ash? Hello, baby. <laughs> Hi, are you, are you sitting in front of, ah. <laughs> oh, you adorable, you adorable little friend. You gonna hop back up there? Or are you leaving? What you doing? Where are you going? Oh, she is. Good. 
There we are. All right. Let's see. What are what's doodles come? Ooh, we've got a tie. Goblin wedding cake topper and topper and John Blin at Gen Con. All right. Will we break the tie in the last few seconds? Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Craft, are you gonna break the tie? That would be very unlike you. Uh, ooh, this is said in one theory, uh, that he got his knight brother tattoos removed and then got cis tattoos to show his dedication to the dark side. Or maybe he just got even more tattoos. Who knows? I don't know anything about, uh, Darth Maul. I honestly learned about Darth Maul because I started, vo I started, um, researching things about the Night Sisters at one point just because I thought they were cool. And then I found out that Darth Maul was a uh, part of the Night Sister, like, thing. And I was like, oh, interesting. Wild. All right. And so that's how I learned about that. <laughs> Speed run! Vote, 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 vote. Vote, 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 vote. Everybody! <laughs> oh. Okay, well, you guys vote, we'll do the cutie scratchers. Thank you so much for the redeem. Thank you very, very much for the redeem, uh, Matt. I believe in you guys. We can untie these votes. We can do it. We can make a decision. Hell down. To kitty cam we go. Let Ash inspire you to make a decision. Hi, Ash. She's cleaning herself. She might not want scritches right now. I will keep it on kitty cam though. Ooh. Okay, it's the same number of people voting. It's the same number of people voting. However, one voted for one other one. Cheeky, I see you, I see you. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Matt. You are on your clipping game today. The emails have since been read and moved, wow. All right, Scribbler. You are throwing us all to the, the wolves. You guys are just getting my knee in some ash. Hi, Ash. Have some scratches. There we go. There we go. <laughs> just in time to tie it. Ursa. didn't vote if it didn't last well. I appreciate it and good job. I love that pod to craft. TIE Fighter. All right, I'll flip a coin. Do I have a coin? I certainly must somewhere. I could roll a dice. That would be the same. Yeah, all right. Let's roll a dice. Uh, below 10 is John Blin Gen Con. Above 10 is a uh, Goblin Wedding Cake Topper. Let's do this. Below 10, John and Gen Con, which is very funny because he had to, to just leave. So, let's blush monster John, shall we? <laughs> Flip a coin. <laughs> I'm frantically prepping a museum one shot. Yes, I heard about that in Midge's, uh, I, not, not that you have to retype it, but I heard that you were, well, f first in TTRPG Gaming that you're talking about that you have to do a one shot, but also, um that uh you uh that you talked about it in midget stream and if you want to give a brief overview i would love to hear about it but also i'm really excited to see this map just finished the map so now running puzzle slash encounters in my head while i go prep dinner Ooh. when do you when does when do you have to get this done by 
When do you have to get this done by, Urza? Flip a coin. You guys and your fucking ties. I love you all so much, but just like me, we have- everyone here, including me, has decision paralysis. <laughs> we can never get anything done. <laughs> uh, I'm a tie fighter. That's- that's very good, Graf. That's very good. I voted but didn't last till because I was distracted. No worries, JJ. What, what have you been distracted with? Also, what has everyone been up to today? Y'all are, um, some of, I know some of you all, what have y'all been up to, but has there been anything super cool happening this week, or has it just been kind of like a normal busy week? Because that's kind of what it's been like for me. It's been a rather busy, but, uh, tame week, which is a weird dichotomy. <laughs> Where it's like, I've done a lot of things, but it's not been, like, interesting. So I don't have a lot to talk about, other than Pokemon. <laughs> oh, and, and Dimension 20. We could get into some Dimension 20 right now. I would also be down for that. All right. Do, 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 do. Gonna find the 20 minutes timer. There it is. All right. An hour and a half, Ursa. Oh my gosh. I am rooting for you. That is... Oofta. All right. You got this, Ursa. You know what? I'm Let's check out Ursa's map before we do this. Because Ursa's... Ah, yes. Definitely no spoilers. It's only been a day. No spoilers. I promise. Um, but I just want to talk about the hype about it. <laughs> but yes. Let's look at what Ursa's map. Ooh. Cause you you have to go in an hour and a half, and you know, we gotta hype you up. Look at this. Look at this map. How fast did you do this? When did, how long did this take you? Cause if it was just today, that is honestly very impressive. Like, I can totally see the museum influence here. Like, I can see the, like, oh, two hours? Oh my god. Like, here's, like, all of the, like, gallery pieces that you can go up and walk around and look in. Here's some, like, yeah, I, this looks like a fucking museum. As someone that has worked and been in many, this is really good. I, your brain, your D&D &D brain, Ursa. Fucking wow. Are these bathrooms? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Probably just other. I wonder if they're... Did you put any bathrooms in there? Just curious. That's not usually what's in a D&D map, but I am curious. And half of it was debating if I wanted to do the full museum. Is this... Because this is just one floor, right? But decided to go with only central exhibit. Fair. Fair. Because doing, like, top, like, floor and floor and floor would be too much. That'd be too much. Oh, I hope it goes well. That's super exciting. Dinner will be mostly roasting since I've been marinating chicken. Ooh, what have you been marinating in? Thank you for sharing also, Ursa. You got this. I love the map. What program do you what programs do you use to make uh, your maps with, by the way? Uh Ike put a thought in my brain and I had to draw it. I don't have to show it on screen, but I'm very excited to see your, the thought that you put, that Ike put in your head, Amity. That is very exciting. <laughs> and yes, I definitely won't do any spoilers. It's only been out for a day. That's, that would be rude. We could talk about, uh, Critical Role spoilers, though. Because that's been, that's been out for two weeks, and the new episode is tonight. But... Before then, let us do, let us start John Blinn going to a convention. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.
All right, we've got our sketch. I've had more errands than usual, but nothing super bad. That's pretty good. More errands than usual isn't bad. You can show it on stream if you want. It's in Discord. Heck yeah, I will totally show it after this. I will totally show it after this doodle then, Amity, if you are com since you are comfortable with that. And if it also, if anyone else in chat has been working on anything that they would like to show off, let me know. I would love to see what you guys have been working on. Or if any of y'all are artists. I, uh... Desire to see your awesome arts. And follow you on all the things. This is the same size uh, as the purple bit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. So you used an actual, uh, you used an actual layout of a real museum as your, uh, as your map. That's, that's pretty good. I, I was, I was wondering how you laid it out and if you, like, that fully came out of your head or if you used, um, a, uh, a map from the real world and I'm glad you used a map from the real world or else you would be uh, a D&D &D god <laughs> that you could just whip that out in two hours. I And I use Dragon Scrawl on the interwebs. Hmm, I've never heard of that. I will give it a look. They're gonna get into some stuff tonight. Combat followed by emotions. It's gonna be a heck of a time. Oh yeah. If you were not caught up on Critical Role, um, I watched the new. <laughs> I watched the new um, uh, Critical Role today uh, from last week because it I have just been busy and I hadn't had time until uh, I was working on some art today, and. Um, I, I, I was spoiled on, uh, t Tumblr, so I was just kind of, like, waiting for the end. Um, it was very, it was a very fun episode up until the end, but I was just kind of waiting for the end. And then when we got there, ugh, it was so good. And Travis, like, Travis figuring it out, uh, f uh, like, uh, that was, that was incredible. I was so proud of him. Because we as the audience knew that Dusk was a traitor, like, since the first episode that Dusk was in, or the second episode that Dusk was in. Um, we we knew that Dusk was a, a turncoat and a traitor the, that entire time. And... <sighs> I'm so excited for the emotions and the payoff. It's gonna be so good. I, it's definitely, I don't know who it's going to affect more, but everyone is kind of on already, like, everyone in the Bell's Hells is, like, kind of good at dealing with emotions, like, so much more so than past, uh, past groups, so I'm curious. Request GobCon on the bag. Oh yes, I I should I should be able to get to it. I should be able to get to it. We're we're getting there. Yee! Thank you for 
the after break doodle pull mat. You are on your game today. This crazy little ma little old man who wants to kill Santa really figured it out, and I think that great. No, he doesn't want- I mean, he does want to kill Santa. I guess in this universe he wants to kill the equivalent of Santa? Though I don't know if there is an equivalent of Santa in Exandria, but you know what? We will find out. I'm really glad that they figured it out. Because there's been, uh... So many lovely inconsistencies. Erica is such a good performer. Erica Ishii is such a good performer and the perfect person to be a, uh, perfect person to be, like, the first guest traitor on, on, uh, Critical Role. Like, the fact that the, her first, like, f official guest appearance in a main campaign of Critical Role is as a traitor, and I love that for them. I love that for them. Vote! Yes, please vote in the after break doodle poll! Vote, 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 If you're in America, this is a great time to practice. <laughs> For all of the voting that will be taking place very soon. And or already happened. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would get there. I told you we would. What do you guys think the titles of the board games that uh, John Blinn is carrying should be?
Monsters and microphones, crate and chaos. Oh, yeah, you're right. Monsters and microphone, crate and chaos, kobolds and trench coats. You're right, though. Though cup phone would be good. <laughs> cup phone is very good. Oh, that's true. Stardew Valley is a board game version. That We could do Stardew Valley. You could have a Stardew Valley bag. There we go. Gotta do the logo. Gotta, I gotta do the logo that uh, odds made justice. Chaos. There we go. There we go. Yes. Go toss that chicken into the oven, Ursa. Have a good dinner. I want to go to GobCon! I think the eventual brigade meetup should just be called GobCon. <gasps> You're right. Oh, Amity, that is a... That is a galaxy brain move right there. Yes! It should just be called GobCon! <laughs> oh... I think John is gonna absolutely freak out when he sees this. Okay, I got five minutes for color. I mean, I did request feels crimes. It was unstated, but I did need to. Yeah, I mean, you did need to. You had to. John is living the dream right now, and we gotta, we gotta support him from far away. Have yeah, heavily implied, heavily implied of the feels crimes. so close to the end so close vote in the poll vote in the poll vote in the poll what is, shall be our after break doodle we're currently tied <laughs> as is expected but <laughs>
Bell's over. What? Did, I was totally, I was totally focusing on finishing up uh, John Blinn's colors. What? What one? bag. I've got a minute left. Bree draws what she wants after break. Oh, all right, good. I have break to think about what that is. Okay, what do I want to draw? Hmm. Hmm, what do I want to draw? Ooh, Ike, you're back. Welcome back, Ike. I went to several stores and did not find all the stuff I wanted, but I did find enough magnets. I'm sorry I didn't find what you wanted, but I'm glad you got some magnets. Like, regu like regular magnets or like fun magnets. But also, welcome back, Ike. It's great to see you. What do I want? I mean, kind of, I kind of want to draw, but it might be spoilers. I guess maybe like just the character designs might not be spoilers. I kind of want to do some Dimension 20 uh, fe uh, Court of Fae and Flowers art. Shh! I haven't drawn his freaking freaking specs yet. He's gotta have specs. Shh. All right, the boxes are almost, I realized that too. I was like, what are the core colors of those games? And I chose them and I'm like, oh, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of the buy flag palette. All right. And with that, John Blinn going to GobCon is complete. I think I'm gonna post this after stream and have John absolutely lose it. Who's with me?
We've done three doodles and we're only two hours in. Heck yeah, we've got about an hour left. So I think it is time for a quick five, oh, my sweater fell. Uh, a quick five minute break for us all to dewater, rewater, go take our meds, go get a snack, whatever we need to do. Um, and then uh, come back and finish up uh, the stream. Uh, we've already done, uh, started with JJ and Bree and St uh, Steve and Wes uh, with this terrifying emu and then we've got it and then we went absolutely hog wild with this lovely darth johnblin and general kenobri battle the goblins think it's supposed to be in lava it's not and then we've uh also did lo the lovely johnblin at gobcon what do we have next to do well it is my apparently my decision so i'm gonna go think about that and then i will be back to catch up on chat um to catch up on chat and uh, do two more doodles. So don't go anywhere, everybody. Uh, please come on back in about five minutes uh, for more doodling, and I will see you then.
Oh my god, y'all. Um, I just got a notification from a, a place that I ordered dice off of Etsy. Um, and they were arrived during stream, so I know this is technically a doodle stream. Also, welcome back, everyone. Uh, please go take your meds, uh, do what you need to do, uh, dewater, rewater, what it, whatever is good for you. Um, but I have dice. I have some dice to open if y'all want to watch me do that. Bonus unboxing! Clicky, sh clacky, shiny math rocks. These are actually not shining, they're actually, um, ceramic. And I'm very excited. Brina has Ike back. You should show my whip. Yes! I should definitely show your whip, Amity. Thank you for, uh, reminding me. I'm going to throw that up on screen real quick, and then, um, I'm going to set up a tarot cam so we can unbox this. I will strategically not show you my address. Uh, but yes, they are ceramic. Uh, I found them because, uh, Mr. Matthew, uh, has been retweeting them a bunch recently, and they're gorgeous. I cannot wait to show you. They were very expensive, but it's my- I'm getting married soon, so fuck it. Whatever, right? Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> let's look at what Amity was drawing. I don't mean to undercut you, Amity. I'm very sorry. <laughs> this is very cool, and Amity gave, uh, Amity gave, uh, Ike gave Amity some brain rot, and it is very cute. <laughs> I love it very much. I looked at it over break, Amity, and it's super cute. Y'all, Ike, thank you for being, uh, an absolute inspiration. Ike put a thought in my head during stream, talking about gobbins with sparklers, so I had to draw a goblin doing the classic Disney Channel thing with their sparkler. It's so cute! I'm the little, like, just the classic, which is- Ugh. Also, the off-the-shoulder look is incredible. Y'all just ogle that for a hot second. I'm gonna go get a knife. What if instead of the mouse, it's it's got goblin ears? I stop. That would have been good. That would have been good too. But I love I love the little mouse ears. This is very cute. My wedding registry is not full of dice. Um, <laughs> my wedding registry is not full of knife, knife, <laughs> dice. However, that doesn't mean that I um that I'm not uh getting dice for myself. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is very cute. I'm Goblity, and you're watching Goblin Channel. That is so cute, Amity. I love this so much. Your off-the-shoulder look and the little spark- like, the little details you did on the sparkler is super cute. Thank you for sharing. I absolutely love it. And what do I have? A knife! <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing, Amity. This is so cute. Doing what we do, making brain rot. Brain rot goblins, that's what we do here. And also dice, apparently. <laughs> okay, Cassidy, go back. All right. Okay. Now I gotta move tail cam from where it becomes secondary ash cam back over here so I can do a little unboxing. All right. Also, I love the way that you did the ears and the hair, a little, little hair poof. Very well done, Amity. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> All right. Shall we do a, a dice unboxing? I think we should. I also said it's gonna get caught up on chat, but dice! are more important can i open the box backwards so you don't see my address yes <gasps> look at these dice oh. oh okay so for y'all if you want any uh they're very expensive they're about a hundred some of them are uh, are a little bit less than a hundred and some of them are a little bit more than a hundred um 
but it is fightingchancestudio.com. Fightingchancestudio.com is where you get some ceramic dice, if that's what you want. All right. Yeah. Throw that back there. <laughs> Clicky clacky math rocks. Free Street was a wonderful place for a nap, indeed. Aww. I, I, for all of y'all who are lurking because you fell asleep during my stream, I truly appreciate it. Oh, already they're so gorgeous! <gasps> Y'all! Oh my god! Look at them! Ah! Oh, they're so pretty! <gasps> oh! They're like... They're like ink... They're like... Cer they're ceramic dice that have like ink stamps on them on every... Oh, they're so gorgeous. I really hope Tarot Cam can uh, focus. God. And it's the cool little, like, diamond D4. I've never had one of these before. I love them. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get, like, what. I got the, like, I got the. Come on. Focus. Focus. Please focus. 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 Please. Dang it. Will you focus? Please. Ah, please focus. I will give them a roll. I'll give you I'll give you a little bit of sound. Hold on. Some dice ASMR. stone dice and they're also like they're not perfect which I don't know if it is good or bad but I like it this one's kind of like slanted in like a fun way and I like that oh yeah that's the stuff but now the reason I bought these so the reason I bought these is because um so I have a character, a a D and D character. Um, all that y'all all y'all know my cool uh hollow uh metal dice that look like that sound like fairy bells. Um, the D four is so cool. And y'all, well, and you guys might not know now, but y'all will know in just a second that um, <laughs> hold on, that. I have, because of the tarot deck I was a part of for uh, Die Hard Dice, I got sent these very cool, um, these very cool navy blue sparkly star dice. You can't really, I wish the camera, I wish this camera was better, but they're navy blue, they're very cool, they have little sparkles in them, so it's like they're kind of like little stars. And my D&D &D character that I have uh, the, I now have three sets of dice that work with my D&D &D character. Um, because my D&D &D character is a Warforged. Um, my D&D &D character is a Warforged. Uh, a, like, a filigree Warforged, uh, fey be druid who has a living star inside of them. Uh, with porcelain and uh, vines and leaves live uh, growing out of them. So I have the porcelain and leaves. I've got the f the the fey filigree warforged out outer thing, and then I've got the star dice. So now I have the perfect dice, the perfect three sets of dice for my D and D character. <laughs> I have every part of their body as dice. 
And yes, I will roll them. I don't know if it... I don't know if it'll, like, come... I don't know if it'll, like, come through over the mic, but... They sound a little... They sound like fairy bells. Hey! The Warforged are so cool. I... I became an... Uh, be... I, because like this is this is a year this is a, a year project in the making um i first saw these dice uh john bought these dice for me actually for my birthday um he he bought them for my birthday and um uh little t tinkle twinklies little tinkle twinklies I love them very much, but I got these for my birthday. John bought them for me for my birthday, and they uh, were are just so lovely. And I hadn't been able to play my Warforge in, until recently. I play. I'm a guest in uh, uh, Jane Kankin slash Lucas's home game right now, and uh, I rolled up my Warforge for that game. And uh, these were the two sets of dice that I wanted for the Warforged because of like the port like the porcelain aspects of them and the like the leaf the, the green parts of this are like leave leaf stamps i really wish it would uh focus so you could see them but like the little green parts of the ceram these ceramic dice are um beautiful leaf and flower stamps and they're just so elegant i'm going to take a picture and post it later i promise um but then when I was making the character uh, with Lucas, uh, we I was trying to decide what class I was, and I decided that I was going to be a Circle of the Stars druid because that was a little bit more action economy e and worked a little bit better with the uh, with the Warforged than being like a Circle of the Moon where you b turn into animals and stuff. So I then added these little star dice to my roster. So now. I have all of the dice I will ever need for my Warforged character. <laughs> I've been lurking, but I heard Warforged. My ears poked up. They sound super nice. I love these dice. I got the, these dice are from, these uh, hollow metal dice are from uh, Foam Brain Games. These ceramic dice are from Fighting Chance Studio. Thank you very much for uh, giving me putting in that site mat if y'all want to check it out and these dice right here are from die hard uh from die hard dice so if you want the same dice as me there's where you can get all of everything but yeah they came in the mail today and i'm so excited they're so pretty they are ceramic and I love them. I think they're covered in like acrylic or resin or something just so they don't like chip, which makes sense, but they're very pretty and they sound so good. So yes, dice. Thank you for coming to my D&D uh, &D dice TED, TED talk. Um, I also have other really pretty dice if you want to check that out. Uh, I have this giant, uh, this giant, uh, metal dice that rolls, rolls really well and is gay. Um, but I also have some dispel dice. Ooh. You guys have seen pictures of these, but I also have some very pretty dispel dice. I, this is, I've, uh, this year has been, um, dice retail therapy for me. <laughs> If you can't tell, I bought so many new sets of dice this year alone, and I haven't even been to a convention. <laughs> but these dice are finally going to get used. My, the D&D character that I made for these dice, which is a dr gem dragonborn, is going to be played in a Strixhaven game. So, paying off! <laughs> paying off! Oh. <sighs> 
Anyway, should we go back to doing some doodles? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what to doodle now. I'm just really excited about dice. Maybe I should doodle a D. Maybe I should do a little D and D character. I could. I could doodle my D. That'd be really hard, but I could try. <laughs> But you have, have you considered, Brie, when you wild shape as a Warforge, you do a beep boop mechanical noise whoosh like a Transformer into the robot Warforge versus an animal? I have considered it, and I'm very excited to do it eventually. I really want to become, like, a giant mechanical cat. It'd be super cool. Like, I, I describe my character, the Warforge character, uh, Mistra, uh, Dice Goblin slash Golem. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, Dice Golems. We can make little golems for each set of- we, we can make a little, like, golem chibi thing of each. Oh, that'd be such a cute sticker set. Of each- like, of each, like, like dice in the set. <gasps> I would love that. Oh my god. You guys are so good. You guys are so, so creative and so wonderful. I'm totally gonna draw that. Oh! <laughs> but yeah, I'm- Mistra uh, is a hundred percent going to. Uh, I describe her as very clockwork, uh, so she's a hundred percent gonna like transform herself into uh, a mechanical version of the, of animals, and it's gonna be very fun. I haven't gotten to do it yet, but it will be very fun when I do. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, thank you for coming on this detour with me, everyone. I hope it was as fun for you as it was for me! Yes, Brie. I thoroughly enjoyed this detour. I am glad. So did I. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Ghostling, what, uh, what, uh, kind of Warf Forge does your best friend play? I would love to hear all about it. Tell me all about your Warf Forge journeys. <laughs> I'm all, I'm getting caught up on chat real quick. Do 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 do. Oh, Ike, you were talking about your magnets. Let's hear about your man magnet journey. Uh, dice magnets to put in the bottom of the figure bases to hold them in their carrying case. Oh, that's that seems like that would be really good. That seems like that's important. That is an important addition. <laughs> Sounds like he's not up to spec. You look, Ursa, you look at John Blin. You look at John Blin right in his face and you tell him that he's not up to spec. How could you say such a thing? How could you? I am disappointed. <laughs> I want the butt. Wait. I want. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want the Gobcon, Gobcon logo on buttons now. And how the buttons have little ears, so it's just like gob, it's a gobcon on a green thing that just says gobcon on a green button, and then the buttons have ears. That would be really cute. Justy, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> yes. That's incredible. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> and also gobcon stickers. Gobcon stickers would be incredible. All right. 
Let's draw some dice gremlins, shall we? Some little, little dice gremlins. Maybe I can do a quick little sticker series. We'll see. I don't know. for faith. All right. Let's do this. Where'd my phone go? Now oh, it's over here. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're gonna start with the D4. We're gonna go do the cool new D4 though. Yes, there is one more doodle after this one. I will not deprive y'all of, of another doodle because I went on, <laughs> I went on a tangent. I went on a dice tangent. So what do what do golems need to? I guess I've I've never drawn a golem before. What what do golems need to have to make them golems? If you want more Warforged, I can toss the sketch Ali did of my deep one warlock war. Ooh, please do! I would love to see that. Do they need a face? No face needed, they can see through the other means. Sweet. gonna make some really cute inanimate objects. A traditional gom has a magic word on a piece of paper in its mouth and that's how you can control it. Yes! I do remember something. I do remember that. But that's folklore goms, not fantasy ones. True. Okay, then 
I will make I will make the numbers on the dice, the magical runes that bring it to life. Is it weird to make fan art of dice? Eh, oh well. Thank you, Bat. I am glad you think it is cool. Whether it is weird or not, I am owning it. Almost done with Gollum 1.
The D4 golem complete. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so cute. <laughs> I love them. I love them. One little guy made. Maybe I can get John to write up stat blocks for these and you guys could uh, have them as little monsters or friends in D&D. That could be fun. All right, next dice. Uh, D6. Well, that's easy. The final dude down. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -ba Ooh, summer the summer shashimot or goblin wedding cake topper. What do y'all want me to draw next? What do we what do we want the end of this stream to be? Tis up to you all. These aren't as, these little platforms aren't as evocative as the other ones. How do you make a cube interesting? You make it gelatinous, but we can't do that here. Um, I guess it could just be hovering on a different cube. It could just be hovering above a separate cube. I could put triangles as little stubby legs. Cubes within cubes.
Oh, that's true. Cute a la Rubik's Cube. We could do that. We could do that. You know what, Ursa? I trust your D&D &D brain. Just like a floating, rotating, cubic golem? Hell yeah, why not? Hi, Ash. Welcome to the desk. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing a thing. Hi, baby. <laughs> you sitting on my dice? Making it so I can't see? You sitting on my dice? This is complex.
at least got to get the numbers. Merge players. Okay. This is, this is very complex. I enjoy it, but it is very complex. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This level series might be more math than I bargained for. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna do a quick little clipping mask of the numbers. And then on each because that's supposed to be the that's supposed to be the the magic <sighs> complex little golem all right <laughs> we got one half finished I'm gonna just make the I'm just gonna make the d4 bigger because I like the d4 Pew! Gollum concepts. Geometry. <laughs> Geometry. I'll make a little sticker of the D4. I really like the D4. I think he could be a good little friend. <laughs> and now you just guys just see my dice. <laughs> Instead of Ash. Let me see. Let me let me move you over so you guys can see at least Ash's butt. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. The final dude down. What was the final doodle? Oh, I totally forgot. Oh no. I think it was. I'm, oh, I'm sure I commented on it. <laughs> what was it? It was, I think. I don't think it was the wedding cake topper. It was the other one. What was the other one? Summer Shashamot! Yes! Yes! Okay. Alright. Summer Shash it is. More designing in our future. Alright. Dice. What's it called? Golem. Ooh! You can tell it's getting close to the end of stream because my brain is gone. Uh, dice. Golem. Ideas. Save. All right. Whew. Let's do this. Pardon me. All right. The final dude down. Let's make summer shush. Let's make a new emote for the end of summer, shall we? We've done <laughs> some very cute some very cute doodles today. Me and JJ as Steve Irwin, me and John Blin as uh, Darth Maul and uh, Obi Obi Wan Kenobi, John Blin at Gen Con, and some dice, just some dice golems. Heck yeah! All right, let me find the Shashamout real quick, and we will continue.
we will end out this absolutely bonkers and very fun stream. shush and if it will come up hey all right we have the shush emote we've got the base shush emote so i'm super down i'm super excited it's been so long it's been so long since we made this shush emote we're coming A blast to the past. All right. <sighs> Let's do this. In our final moments of the stream. Let me get my timer. Ooh, I had a thought. What if a dice golem could only be damaged by a player rolling that dice? Now that would be, that would be, that would be very tricksy. That would be very tricksy, Ursa. <laughs> that would be very mean, but very cool. <laughs> Alright. The final doodle in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Now, this is not the final doodle forever. Just the final doodle today. Um, because we've got... We've got, you know, we've got all of Saturday to do this as well. We are going to at least try our god, dong, god dang darndest to, uh, fin- oop, wrong layer. To finish out- To finish out the, uh, finish as much of the doodle, uh, pull- the doodle cue- as we can before the end, uh, before I, I take a small hiatus from streaming. So, if you like this, come back for, uh, round two on Saturday. Alright, what does summer shush mean? I really should have asked before I started, but my only thought is, like, a lemon, maybe? Like we like have like a fruit vibe instead of like a alarm clock that is that's where my head's at right now is making a making a lemon which kind of a little bit looks like a clock That's, that's where, that's where I'm at right now. What do you guys think? Could be a mouth stuffed with watermelon. <laughs> Gabri's head sleeping. Like the top of her head is a circle. I don't know if that would, I don't, as much as that is very cute, I don't know if that would read. Because it's gotta be... It's gotta be in the, like, in, it's gotta be circular and still have the, like, the shush over top of it. 
Yeah, it's gotta it's gotta have these shush words over top of it, which is the only issue. In uh in design elements. We're basically making like a skin for the already created emote. I hope Kitty's okay, Amity. I would like to, though, if y'all have any ideas of how to make this more goblin-y, I am very down. Oh no, little baby. I'm just trying to I was trying to, I'm just trying to think of like a good summer skin for the shush emote to have though there is a lot of very good imagery you guys are you guys are pulling I really like the goblin one she said she caught herself and she's okay good 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 I'm glad goblin ears poking up out of a hammock that would be very cute too I mean, I feel like, honestly, my emotes need to start going more goblin directions, because that is, we've almost went, it's almost been a full year with goblin brain rot here, on this, on this here program. The goblins are part of us. I feel like my emotes should reflect that. Ooh, we could make it look like a goblin or something like bit the orange instead of it being perfectly cut. It's like there's like a there's like bite marks out of it. We could do that. <laughs> that could be fun. I see one vote for bite marks. Heck yeah.
What at? Okay, I'll stop petting you. Jesus. Goodness. It could also be an orange instead of a lemon, but I feel like lemons are just like quintessential summer fruit. fruit. There needs to be more space in between these. Stop getting in my way, girly. <laughs> It's really nice here too, honestly, Matt. It's really, really nice. It's like low, it's like mid 70s, low 80s, which is a, a huge improvement from when it, what it was at the beginning of this week when it was like 100 on Tuesday. are you doing? It says it's 81, but it feels like lower 70s. There's a steady, almost too much breeze. Yeah, that's how it is here today as well. It's 81 here as well. And uh, the breeze outside is absolutely gorgeous and makes up for any of the heat that could, could come through. Now that's a lemon.
because win because winter shush is a jingle bell, and uh, fall shush slash Halloween shush is a ghost. So I think summer shush should be a lemon. I think that makes the most sense. Heck yeah. Bright like the summer sun. Exactly. shush words on over <laughs> heck yeah look at that all right what color do we think the word should be y'all Some juice squirting out. Maybe the maybe the word should be blue. Lemonade. Ooh, matcha lemonade. I've never had matcha lemonade. That sounds very good, though. complete. Now let's finish up this lemon in two minutes.
Well, we don't, I don't think we have a spring shush yet, honestly, but that's okay. That'd be a lot of, that'd be a lot of changing things. I don't know if we all, I also don't know if we have a summer honk either. That's true. Wait, we have four honks? Or I mean, four, we have four shushes? It's, oh, I mean, I guess that's true. It's regular shush, summer shush. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. I guess we don't need a spring shush because we have regular shush. All right, and then, bam! Summer shush complete. A lovely, lovely matcha lemonade. I had, I had, I simply had to make it lemonade. My, it's my favorite. It's, it's my favorite drink, especially in the summertime. Love me a good lemonade. Just gonna add a little shine. All right. Honestly, this is ready to be an emote, like, now. I could, like, totally, after stream, make this an emote and, like, slap it into Discord. <laughs> All right. I still got it. I can still make an emote in 20 minutes. I still got it. Woo. All right. <sighs> and with, uh-oh. Wrong screen. Oops. And with that, that brings us to an end of our stream, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all for being here and uh, joining me on our uh, on our part one of this two stream doodle extravaganza. We have done five doodles today. Count them five. We have this lovely summer shush emote. Some lovely dice golems uh, concept art. We've got John Blinette Gobcom, which I will be posting on Twitter after the stream. We've got John Blin and Kenobri having a little uh, inaccurate but uh, intense duel. And last but not least, the one we started with, me and JJ as uh, Steve Irwin and uh, Wes. I am very, very excited. This was a very lovely stream and I had a very good time getting through that doodle queue. Thank you all so much for everyone who uh, asked me to draw all of this stuff and everyone for hanging out with me uh, for uh, the donations and the subscriptions. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, thank you all so much for joining me today. I think if they're still live, I think I have a very good raid suggestion, uh, a very good uh, raid candidate, but before we go off and raid somebody, uh, I'm just gonna go over the top of announcements again just to let y'all know um, what's going on. And if anyone is here that doesn't know who I am, my name is Bree. I'm a digital artist here on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, I will be My next stream will be on Saturday. Uh, we're gonna be doing part two of this doodle extravaganza. I don't know how many more doodles we're going to have uh, that we still have on the doodle roster, but we will be doing five more doodles on Saturday, which I am very excited for. So if you like doodles and would like to uh, hang out with me while I do doodles, uh, join me on Saturday. Uh, I'm I'm, very, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Also, um, we're going to be, uh, also there will be a unofficial, uh, 
there will be an unofficial community day tomorrow on my, uh, in my Discord because... Uh, I, uh, will not be able to be there on, uh, Friday, but you all are all welcome to hang out and play games and do your all-day, uh, do your all-day community day shenanigans that I know y'all will do, uh, but I will just sadly not be able to attend because I will be doing wedding things. Also, um, other than that, in other scheduling news, uh, Saturday will be my last regular stream, uh, until mid-September. I will be absconding to the wind to go prepare for conventions and weddings, um, and will be busy until mid-September, um, when I will be back to doing my regular, regularly scheduled things of tarot cards, commissions, and doodles, and other fun things, and possibly a goblin coloring page if we hit $300, uh, by the end of the stream on Saturday. So, uh, if you would like to celebrate with me, and come and hang out with me for my final regular stream, uh, for about a month or so. Uh, join me on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. CST. Um, other than that, all of my other announcements are in the Discord, on my Twitter. Uh, you can follow me at Bridon and pretty much everywhere. I've got a bunch of art and a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, and yeah, those are my biggest announcements, uh, of things happening very imminently. So if you like my stuff and would like to support me in any way, using the tip jar down below to make that bar go up is the best way to support me here on Twitch. Uh, also bits and subscriptions are extremely appreciated. I also have a coffee store um, where you can get Dawn prints. I also have commissions that will be closing on August 8th. So if you would like to uh, reserve a commission slot with me before I close my commissions, now is the time to do so. And, uh, yeah, I have a Redbubble store and a bunch of other things. All of my links are down below, so go and check that out. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all have an absolutely lovely Thursday. Have a very fun time watching Critical Role tonight, if that is what you're going to do. And if not, have a lovely weekend. I will see you all on Saturday. Mwah! Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Bye, everybody! Mm-hmm. <laughs>